This story is of a girl named Bryn, who used to live alone in her house. Her house is outside the town. After Bryn's mother's death, she had no one in this world, so she used to live alone. Her mother had a dream of making a model of the town which Bryn wanted to fulfill now. She had made the entire model of her town which she kept correcting with time and also made some changes. Bryn used to sew clothes to make a living. One day when she was going to give her clothes after sewing she sees a strange circle outside her house which she tries to remove with water but she can't. Now she drives the car and goes to towards the town. On the way, she meets a boy whom she used to like. But when she stops the car and looks at him, the boy had left from there. Here we come to know that the people of the town did not like Bryn at all. That's why her house was outside the town. What was the reason that we will come to know later? Bryn didn't want to come here but she was helpless to come to the town because her mother was buried in the graveyard here. That's why she goes to her mother's grave every time. When she goes there, there were also a lot of people there. When Bryn says hi to her, no one answers her. Everyone was ignoring her. That means no one pays attention to her. Now on the way, she sees her childhood friend, Maud's parents, whom she hides after seeing. Here it was clear that it was forbidden for her to come to the town. Bryn herself did not want to live alone. In fact, it was her helplessness. Now she comes home and writes a letter to her childhood friend Maud. Then a postman comes to her house who came to give a box in which there was a small school that she had ordered for her town's model. She is very happy to keep the school in her model. In the same way, while laughing and playing, she also completes her letter which she was writing to Maud, in which she writes, Maud, I know I will never be able to forgive myself and I miss you all the time. There were also pictures of Maud in her house which were only of her childhood. Or did Maud go somewhere? What was the secret of Maud? Now we will find out about all this later. One night when Bryn is sleeping, then suddenly all the lights in her house turn on. But Bryn was still sleeping. After a while, all the lights were also turned off. Then a sound of something falling from outside comes. Hearing the sound, Bryn woke up. That sound was actually the sound of a dustbin falling from outside. When Bryn turns on the light to go and fix it, then what is this? No light in her house turns on. When she comes down, she sees that the door of her house was open and a strange creature was roaming in her house. When Bryn notices, she finds out that it was not a creature, but an alien. She also saw Bryn. So now her follower comes up. Bryn quickly ran and hid in her room. When the alien reaches Bryn's room, she goes down and hides. She saw the feet of the alien nearby, which were very strange. But when the alien does not find anyone, he comes out of the window. Now Bryn quickly closes the window. Then she feels that the alien is walking on her roof. So now she quickly goes down and closes her door. Then all the lights in her house turn off quickly. All the electronic devices were also working on their own. Seeing all this, Bryn calls the police. But her phone was not working. The phone was also in the same condition as her frid. In fact, the alien was controlling everything. Bryn gets scared and sits in the corner. Then the alien comes near her. Here Bryn saw the face of the alien carefully. Seeing this, she gets scared. And she pushes the alien and runs to her room. Then suddenly there is a blast in the door of the house, which caught Bryn. All this was not done by the alien. He was controlling everything in his house without touching it. Now when Bryn was going towards the model of the town, then the alien also drops that table. Then the broken wood of the table comes in Bryn's hand. Here when the alien was trying to catch Bryn, then Bryn hits that piece of wood in the head of the alien, due to which the alien died there. Seeing this, Bryn gets very scared, and spends the whole night sitting in front of the alien's corpse. In the morning, Bryn covers the alien's corpse, and she also calls the police, but her phone was dead. Along with the phone, all the electronic devices in the house were also damaged. This means that all this happened because of the death of that alien. Because he was controlling everything. Seeing this, Bryn starts going from here. But her car was also dead. Now she thinks what she should do. Then her eyes go to her head, from where the blood was flowing. Now she goes to take a bath quickly. And getting ready, 
she puts a sofa in front of her entrance and closes it. Actually, last night while fighting with the alien, the alien had blasted its door. She put the sofa, but it was of no use. Anyway, now she takes a cycle and goes towards the town, where she sees the postman's van. He was also in a bad condition. Even the girl who liked Bryn, her house was also destroyed. And outside her house, there was exactly the same circle, as we saw outside Bryn's house at the beginning of the story. After this, she quickly goes to the police station, where Maud's parents were. Maud's mother spits on her face. Seeing this, you must have guessed that Maud's family hated her so much. Bryn had understood that she was not going to get any help from the town. That's why she goes back to her house crying. But she was getting sick on the way. There is no one to take care of her. Bryn understood that she has no one in this town. And her house was destroyed by the alien's attack. That's why when she sees the bus passing in front of her. She had decided to go from here. She will leave this town and go forever. Only then we can see that in front of all the houses of the town, there was the same round circle, which we saw outside Bryn's house at the beginning of the story. It means that the alien was going to attack here too. That circle was made by the aliens. Then the postman attacks Bryn sitting in the bus. Actually, he was in the control of the alien. There was something in his neck by which the alien had taken over humans. The alien did not want anyone to leave this town. That's why the postman was also stopping Bryn. There were many more people in that bus who were in the control of the alien. Now Bryn runs away from them and comes to a church. But the door there was closed. She sees a graveyard nearby. Now she goes to a grave inside it, which was of Ma. That is, her childhood friend was dead, who died because of Bryn's mistake, and that's why everyone in the town hated her, especially Maud's parents. One aspect of the story was clear, Maud was dead, because of which Bryn was herself, that's why she kept writing to her friend to forgive her, she is very ashamed, that's why Bryn's eyes look up when she goes to the sky, there are black clouds everywhere, there were a lot of alien spaceships in the sky, when she runs away from their in fear, she goes to the boy's house, whom she liked. There were many more people there, who were all standing with their hands up towards the sky. There was the same thing in their necks, which we saw in the neck of the postman. This means that aliens had captured them too. When Bryn reaches her house, she sees. The corpse of that alien was still lying there. The one who was ended by him. A strange liquid was coming out of his mouth. When she looks up again, there were black clouds all around. Bryn had understood that the aliens were going to attack again. That's why instead of being afraid, she gets ready to fight the aliens. She goes inside the house and picks up a lighter. And she had kept this gutter on the stove to boil the water. Then she closes all the windows and doors. She covers the broken door of her house with a sheet of banana. After a while, the banana that she had thrown falls out by itself, because now the aliens had come here. First of all, they pull the corpse of their companion alien, whom Bryn had ended. Seeing this, Bryn goes to the basement of the house and hides. Then another alien enters her house. He had come to the basement. She wanted to pick up the alien and end him, but the power inside him, he could pull everything towards him. That's why he also pulls Kenji, the picture of murder in Bryn's hand was also pulled by the alien, and he is looking at her very carefully. Taking advantage of this, Bryn ran away from there, and comes back up. Then she sees a small alien up there. He was small, but his hands were very long. He was trying to catch Bryn with his hands. Bryn gets him out of there, and the boiling water that he had kept, she puts it on that small alien, but nothing happened to that alien. Now Bryn was hiding in her bathroom, but that alien was so fast, he also tears the bathroom door with his own hand. That's why Bryn now tries to run away through the window. Quickly, the alien had caught his legs. Bryn picks up the broom and ends that alien. During the fight, the broomstick also breaks. Now Bryn hits that broken stick in the shoulder of that alien. She had hung him from the cupboard. Then she hits him with the door of the cupboard on his head. After so much effort, she finally ended that alien. When Bryn comes out, 
another alien was waiting for her, whose arms and legs were also very long. Here Bryn does not understand anything. That's why the postman comes from behind and takes her with him, which was still under the control of the aliens. The alien outside calls his companions here with a sign. The alien spaceship had arrived there, who now wanted to take Bryn with them, because she was ending his companions. That's when the white light comes down from the spaceship. So towards that light, Bryn pushes the postman. But after a while, he comes back to the ground and falls. Here the meaning was clear. Dot. Those aliens had only come to take Bryn here. The long-legged alien was also behind Bryn. He climbs on top of his house. That's when Bryn quickly went into her car and hid. But the alien had also come there. Bryn comes out of the car quickly. And she locks that alien in the car. She leaves a burning lighter on it. Due to which there is a very big blast in the car. That alien also died due to the black, but still the white light coming out of the alien spaceship was following Bryn. She comes running into her house. That's when she finds another alien inside, who had come behind her in the basement earlier. Instead of ending her, he was looking at her picture carefully. That's when Bryn from behind thinks of attacking that alien, but the alien had found out about it. That's why he attacks Bryn and throws her away. And now a red light comes inside Bryn's house, which had frozen her. That means she was frozen there. Now the alien comes to her and takes out a strange thing from his mouth. Actually, it worked like a parasite. It was a weapon of these aliens, which he puts in his mouth. In this way, he could also control Bryn like other people. That means all the people who were in the control of the aliens, this parasite was in their throat. That's when Bryn wakes up. It looked like she had woken up from a dream. Actually, now that parasite had dominated Bryn's body, she had completely taken control of her mind. She had trapped Bryn in her dream world, where she will spend her life with her town world and Maud. When she sees Maud in front of her, she apologizes to him, that he forgive her. That's when Bryn understands that this is just a dream of hers. In reality, her friend Maud is dead. That's why she puts her hand in her throat and takes out the parasite, which the alien had put in her throat. As soon as she did this, she came to her real world. Now as soon as she drops the parasite on the ground, orange light falls on it from above, from which the parasite was getting a new body, which was of Bryn. There were many spaceships of aliens in the sky. Everyone was doing their job. Here we learn about the lights coming out of those spaceships. White light was to pull humans up, red to freeze, while orange was to make a new body. Now the alien Bryn was made from that parasite. She attacks the real Bryn with a knife, from which she falls down, and then the white light took her up in the spaceship where there were many aliens they wanted to know her memories by putting a finger on her mind this also tells us what happened to her in her old life why did the whole town hate her and how did her friend die so something happened Bryn and Maud had a fight in her childhood Maud pushes Bryn in return Bryn picked up a stone and ended Maud and died on the spot big Bryn used to refuse to write a letter to small Bryn in her thoughts so that she can move on in her life she doesn't remember old memory. After knowing everything, the aliens decide that they will send Bryn back to her world. That's why they throw her down again. She was feeling good coming back. She forgot her sad memories and fought the alien. We see Bryn living her life happily. The whole town now talks to her nicely. The girl she used to like was also fine with her now. She is dancing in a party. There was also a girl with her. Bryn's life was exactly as she wanted. The alien spaceships were still flying in the sky. It is possible that the aliens still have control over the whole town, and after knowing Bryn's memories, they fixed everything according to her, because Bryn was the only one who fought those aliens. So here, as per the name of the film, the story is also clear. No one will save you. No one will save you here. You have to help yourself. No one had saved Bryn. No one in the town helped her. She fought the troubles herself, and with this, the story of this movie also ends here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.